Well, I'm really excited about Ceasefire Fiber to the Home because one gig fiber to the home really opens up a world of possibilities. And just like smartphones open up the possibility for apps and entrepreneurs thought of things that no one else would have ever thought of, entrepreneurs with a tool like this in their hands are no doubt going to think of solutions and uh, other opportunities that none of us could even think of. Let me point out that this type of technology would allow people who are looking for a great place to live to come to Ridgeland because people are looking for a quality of life that we offer here. And as you know, with this type of technology, they can live anywhere in the world, so we want them to be here. We think that the delivery of service to our citizens would be phenomenal. Uh, you know, you have people that uh, pay water bills, that pay their taxes, that pay traffic tickets, all those things, and to be able to access it uh, through the computer with a, and not take a lot of time and get that service done would be phenomenal. Not only that, people enjoy the fact of having that personal service at home, which I think would just be a tremendous benefit to our city. I think it would put us on the map. Uh, we already we show in many ways that we're a leader in a lot of things, and so with this type of technology, that'd just be another step to show that we're one of the best cities in America. This is the infrastructure of, of the center of the future. Just like electricity was 100 years ago and four lanes were about 20 years ago or 40 years ago, uh, having uh, ultra speed internet at your house is just a must. I mean, if you don't jump uh, on that bandwagon, you're, you're, you're going to be left behind. So it is very important. And again, the, the, the possibilities, once you have that infrastructure in place, I mean, creativity is the limit, literally. And being able to have it uh, will, not, will not limit in any way other than, than the, the business, the, the person just saying, okay, I'm going to start a business today. I have the capability. I have the infrastructure. Let's do it. So we've been trying to actively uh, to bring high-speed internet to our county. Now, this far surpasses anything that we had even dreamed of. To be able to bring, you know, one gigabyte to the home is just very, very exciting to us. It, it not only helps us, you know, of course, uh, a quality of life, but it's also necessary for life. We're very, very excited in DeSoto County about this opportunity. And we're already, we have already got people, uh, we've already put grids of, of households and we're, we're ready to go out there and go door to door and reach these people and let them know. We had already um, surveyed 15,000 people who did not have high speed internet. And now we'll be able to go back to those people and say, we have an answer for you. What an exciting announcement. I mean, you, you know, the commitment by C Spire to take fiber to the home at gigabit speeds really can be transformational to a community. We talked a little bit about that today. In Kansas City, we were one of 1,100 cities that applied to have Google Fiber come in, and we rallied our community to, in that application. We got education together. We got healthcare institutions together. We got our neighborhoods together to say, this is the kind of infrastructure that can really lead the community forward. And when we made that application and we talked to Google, we realized that a lot of what was important to them was a public private partnership that worked, that was able to move quickly, that was able to approve permits quickly, where we really sat down and seamlessly worked together. And we formed that kind of great relationship. And what's exciting to me today is to see a commitment, a commitment from C Spire to be that kind of private partner here in Mississippi. Um, I really do think it's a, a great way for communities to be able to take that next step forward in, in investment and in infrastructure. Well, the biggest difference it makes is that we struggle so many times to make our town a place people would consider living there other than if they have some sort of family connection and so much of Mississippi is like that the growth that we see or the people that come there are related to somebody or their dad has a big business there and it's so hard for us to be able to provide the amenities that large cities have the people things that people want the interconnectivity this is one of those things that you can offer to someone that brings the world to them and it's something that not everybody has it makes our cities a place people want to live. And that's how it helps economic development and all those other things. Is once you say, hey, Pelahatchee's got 100 gig, I mean, this high speed internet that's, that's so amazing, then all the other things come together and it makes it one more quiver in our bow that we can shoot when we're trying to recruit people, not just big business. I mean, what you're trying to find are people that are solid, that will help our schools, that will help our churches, that will be good for our little league teams, the kind of people you can build a town on. And those people demand this type of service. And if we can't offer it, we can't compete for those people. I think there'll be a lot of cities that'll be very interested in it, um, that see the need 
Uh, you had some cities here today who have been researching it already. How do we do that? They, they've seen what's happened in Kansas City. We had the mayor here talking about that. They've seen it. They've seen what's happened a couple other places in the country that have done that. They understand that, that we need a competitive advantage. Because one thing in Mississippi, when you go and you try to recruit somebody, many times you have to explain yourself. Why do I want to go there? Well, when you can go and have tools in your kit like this ultra high speed internet that you can access anywhere in the country, then you don't have to explain yourself so much. Then people maybe will start coming to you. It, it's all about uh, communication capability and uh, communication uh, opens new worlds, uh, both for businesses and residential customers. Uh, and to be able to offer uh, our businesses and our residents uh, uh, superior communication uh, capabilities not only holds uh, great potential benefit from a quality of life standpoint uh, because it offers opportunities uh, with um, things that people uh, want in their homes like uh, the gaming and video access but uh, uh, more significantly than that uh, uh, is the potential upside it, it has for uh, business both uh, in the traditional business setting and at home. Uh, when you consider uh, that uh, the technology exists uh, for somebody who is a telecommuter uh, to have superior communication capability to uh, the headquarters of a Fortune 500 company, uh, well, well that's powerful and uh, the economic development opportunity uh, that that brings for each and every one of your uh, citizens uh, is uh, really hard to put into words. We increasingly use our online presence as a city uh, to interface with our citizens, uh, not only uh, to communicate uh, in areas of public concern uh, like uh, natural disasters or inclement weather, but also for basic uh, city services. Uh, you know, we utilize a website uh, now that uh, is connected to social media channels uh, and uh, it actually has the capability uh, if uh, someone's on one of our social media channels, uh, they take a picture of a pothole, uh, it, it can utilize location services uh, to then uh, work back with our internal system uh, to, to route that directly into a work order. Uh, now you think about uh, what that means for the citizen. Uh, well that's a much more accessible government uh, that, than a citizen could have had 10 years ago. Uh, but also think about what that means for the city. Uh, that is a much more efficient way to utilize resources uh, than the traditional uh, manner of uh, uh, call centers and things of that nature, uh, which cost a lot more money.